We have an update on the death of acclaimed Irish singer Sinead O'Connor. Police now say her death is not being treated as suspicious after her body was discovered yesterday. Authorities say O'Connor was found unresponsive at her London address just before noon local time. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Word of Sinead O'Connor's death has sent shockwaves around the world, with many friends and fans sharing stories and expressing profound sadness over her death at the age of 56. Natalie Collada is on this part of this story for us this morning. Natalie, what sort of reaction are we seeing? Well, Deanna, we're seeing reaction really from right around the world, including here in Canada, where Canadian singer-songwriter Brian Adams spoke about his uh, relationship with Sinead O'Connor and about her passing. He actually collaborated with her in terms of their musical career. This is what he had to say. Take a look. He said, rest in peace, Sinead O'Connor. I loved working with you, making photos, doing gigs in Ireland together, and chats, all my love to you and your family know O'Connor, known for m her musical career as part of what she's known for, and particularly that one song, Nothing Compares, is very much uh, a chart topper back in the 90s. Have a listen to a little bit of that. Really a staple there of the 90s music scene and the influence that she had on so many, including um, many Canadians, Canadian musicians. Alanis Morissette also going to social media talking about uh, the death of Sinead O'Connor, paying tribute to the singer-songwriter. She posted a, a photo of Sinead, this is it, as well as a, a broken heart emoji there expressing her sadness at her passing. There was really a dichotomy when it comes to Sinead O'Connor between people who knew her, who describe her as being both extremely fearless but also very vulnerable, sort of the embodiment that both of these things can be true at the same time in an individual. She had a difficult childhood, she was abused, but she also used her voice and her platform to champion others. She was known for her activism, speaking about the abuse of children by the church in particular, famously known for ripping up a photo of the Pope, John Paul II, on Saturday Night Live. That caused her to be uh, banned by a, the NBC network in the United States. There were protests um, following that in the United States. but. We know her life has been very complicated as well. In 2018, she converted to Islam. She changed her name as well. She spoke very publicly about her struggles with mental health as well. And then last year, tragedy really struck for Sinead O'Connor. Her 17-year-old son, Shane, died by suicide. That really hit the singer particularly difficult. She took uh, to, to Twitter, to social media to announce that she in fact had to cancel all of her 2022 tours because she was continuing with that grief. Um, Sinead O'Connor, 56 years old. Thank you so much, Natalie. You're welcome.